Hello, everyone. Hmm. Hello, say hello. I know. Ah. Midday prayer is a whole hour late. And y'all see, I'm actually sitting at my desk. Hi, Pam. How are you? Ah, uh, it's been some kind of morning, you guys. But I am here. <laughs> Hi, Pompey. I kind of like this part. Hi, Sierra. Because I get to see what's on the screen. Ah! I need your prayers. God, I need your prayers. Thank you, Father. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a moment. Um, I'm going to give it a moment just to see um, if how many people are going to come in before I start. Um, we were in the last few days. Better late than never. Thank you, Pompey. <laughs> we're in the last few days, and Lord, it's getting rougher and rougher. Hi, Farah. It's getting rougher and rougher. Today is the 28th. We have one, two, three more days of this. You know, I just thank God for you guys. Thank you guys for just supporting me, um, just helping me through all of this. Um, believe it or not, it's helping me to heal um, in more areas than one. But uh, the main area is just with the loss of my mom. Are you guys able to hear me okay? I hope so, because I didn't check the volume, and now I'm scared to touch this. Um, no, my love, you didn't miss prayer. I had a client sitting at my desk, and, you know, I can't quite rush the people. And there was a couple of clients waiting, and so I figured, let me just go ahead and take care of them, and then, um, <clears throat> then I'll come on and do some kind of rendition of prayer. Um Ideally, I'll probably do it tomorrow. I was going to go through all of the prayer requests um, that I received. And I was just going to take the time and make one day going over, you know, all of the prayer requests that I've received just since we started this in January. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I promise I will do that before the very last day. Hallelujah. But I just want to give God praise and honor um, and glory on today. And if God has been dealing with you about anything, um, I can see it. So if there's something that you want me, I mean, I can see your prayer request today. So if there's something that you specifically would like for me to pray for, I would be more than happy to do that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I just bless his name on today and I give him praise. There was so many things that, um, as I was leaving home this morning, so many things that the Lord was kind of um, dropping in my spirit. Um, but now I'm just a little cluttered. <laughs> oh, help me, Lord. I'm just a little cluttered. And so um, I'm just going to, um, to pray. So I thank you guys for being in uh, prayer again. I hope that you know, you're holding on with your fasting and with your prayer and knowing that opposition is going to come. Um, as I said a few days ago, like uh, <clears throat> Nehemiah, hi, Jay, with like Nehemiah, you have to learn. I got you. <laughs> like Nehemiah, you have to learn to deal with, um, <clears throat> excuse me, opposition and opportunity all at the same time. And to be honest with you, it's just a part of growth. Um, sometimes God is trying to exalt you and he's trying to take you into another place. And because the enemy opposes, you know, um, he fights. And so we got to fight and we got to pray, <laughs> you know, in a godly way, fight spiritually, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's where I am. So I've heard the door out there chiming, but nevertheless, I'm going to just take this time to pray. I'm asking you guys to pray for me, um, to pray for my son, pray for my business, because we need it, um, you know, and whatever else God puts on your heart. We just bless your name, Father, and we give your name the praise. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started. 
Hallelujah. I didn't see any prayer requests that came up. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And we're gonna, I always start um, just with worship and adoration because the Bible tells us that we must come before the Lord with songs and hymns and spiritual songs. We must come just giving him praise. It says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and to bless his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And so, Father, we bless you on today. We magnify your name. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise, Lord. We exalt your name because truly there is no God like you. God, we find comfort in knowing that you're seated upon the throne that you see all, you hear all, Father. Your eyes behold the good as well as the evil. And for that, God, we simply say thank you. We thank you, Lord, because you have kept us thus far. And we thank you, Father, because we know that we're not here by any goodness of our own, but it's because of your grace and because of your mercy. It's because of your unfailing love. It's because of unmerited favor. It's because, God, that you're rooting for us. You're cheering for us. You believe in us. And for that, God, we bless your name. We honor you, Lord God. We magnify you because you're holy. We bless you, Lord God. Because we know God, he who has begun a good work, you're just and faithful enough to complete it. And so we celebrate you for the wonderful God that you are, for the awesome God that you are, you know, for the holy God that you are. And he say, omnipotent, and incredible you are. And even now, God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would forgive us of our sin. Forgive us of all unrighteousness, Lord. Forgive us of being impatient. Forgive us for not believing you. Forgive us for taking matters into our own hands. Forgive us of every sin of omission and commission in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you would wash us and make us whiter than snow. Hide us behind the cross in the name of Jesus. Get the glory, Lord, out of our lives. Teach us to number our days in the name of Jesus. We glorify your name. Even now, we come against the hand of the enemy of our soul. And we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in the day of judgment, it is already condemned in the name of Chenayo. We come against every distraction, every demon sent God to deter us and to thwart our path. We cast it down now in the name of Jesus because we understand, God, that there is power in the name of Jesus. We understand that you've given us the keys to the kingdom. Kingdom. We understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places, against rulers of darkness of this world. Uh, but we thank you because the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty through God. And I am the Messiah. Uh, we thank you, Lord, because the power doesn't come from men, but it comes from you. And I thank you. And because the world didn't give it, the world can't take it away. We bless you, Lord God, and we thank you for your glory, and we thank you for your protection, and we thank you for your power, and we thank you for your word, and we thank you that you are just, and we thank you that you know, and you're not unrighteous to forget, God. And so we give you the praise and the honor and all the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for one more day, God. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would remember Remember your people. Remember their families. Remember their children, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We ask, God, that you would heal, that you would mend, that you would restore, that you would back back the hand of the adversary in the name of Jesus. Because we understand, God, that he's going about to and fro seeking whom he may devour. But we declare that we will not be devoured. Our babies will not be devoured. The things, God, that you have granted us stewardship over, it will not be devoured. Because you told us, God, that the kingdom of heaven suffered by but the violent must take it by force. Uh, and so we're not afraid, God of combat. No, for the Lord of hosts is your name and you are with us. Because we already know, God, that we win. 
die. Uh, and so, Father, I ask that you would keep our children safe, uh, that you would shield them from the adversary of their soul, uh, shield them from the tempter, shield them from the fowler uh, in the name of Jesus. Don't allow them to be blown away by every wind and doctrine uh, in the name of Jesus. We declare, God, that our children shall walk in right standings with you. Uh, we declare that our children shall honor us. They shall rise up and call us blessed in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we thank you, Lord God, for your will being done in their lives. Uh, we thank you, Father, that they shall serve you and you only shall they serve. Uh, we declare, God, they shall worship you in spirit and in truth in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Father, I just thank you for all of those who were waiting for prayer. Uh, I thank you for their heart, God. I thank you for their willingness, Lord God, uh, that we can get together and touch and agree and come boldly before the throne of grace. Uh, and Father, even though we're coming rapidly to a close, I pray that you would remember them one by one, name by name, uh, need by need, issue by issue, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, God, that they will know that their fasting was not in vain, that their praying was not in vain. Uh, I pray, God, that you would plead their cause, that you would make intercession for them, that you would fight for them, that you would be their voice, that you would be their advocate, that you would be their guard, uh, that you would be their defense, that you would be their protector, God. Uh, I ask in the name of Jesus that you would cover their blind side. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for building them up on the inside. I thank you for giving them what they need. I thank you for pouring out rivers of living water. In the name of Jesus, God, we just give your name the praise. I ask God that you will look down on every business now. In the name of Jesus, we come against the hand of the enemy. Every weapon that will form against it, we come against it now by the authority vested in us. And we command it to wither in Jesus' name. And we pray, God, your blessing for the blessing of the Lord. Make it rich and add no sorrow. We pray for your divine protection, Lord God. We already know that every client assigned to natural design, every client assigned to busy bee, every client assigned to the Fortham group, it's nothing that the enemy can do about it. Because we understand, God, that they come only because of you. Because we know, God, that the heart of the king is in your hand. And as the river flows, you can turn it whithersoever you will. And so, Father, we thank you in advance. We thank you for good success. We thank you for peace within our walls and prosperity within our gates. We thank you for rooting out every evil work. We thank you for doing whatever you see fit to do, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you might accomplish your will in the earth. And God, we bless your name and we give your name the praise and all the glory and we magnify your name, Lord God. We thank you, Father, hallelujah, for the marriages, Lord. We pray, God, that you would shield and protect, that you would cover, that you would heal, that you would mend in the name of Jesus. I, I pray even for my client, Lord God, because you see her, you've heard her petition, uh, and I ask God that you would come to her aid, that you would make haste, O oh Lord, that you will not delay. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would fight for her, Lord God. Uh, even when she's overwhelmed, Lord, I pray that you would allow her to know that you are with her and that you will not fail her. I pray, God, that you would be her provider, be her protector, be her source, uh, be her supply, be her deliverer. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you would remember her husband. I pray that you would help him, that you would help his infirmity, help his weakness, that you would strengthen him, Lord, that you would fortify him in you, that you would be, God, everything that he needs you to be in the name of Jesus. God, we just bless you and we magnify your name and we give you the glory and honor and all of the praise. We thank you, Father, for the desires of your people. We pray that you would bless them, Lord God. We pray that you would meet them right where they are. We pray, oh God, the things that they have been praying for over and over and over again, Lord, that you would meet them in Jesus' name, that you would incline your ear, that you would answer their prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name on today and we magnify you. Father, we ask that you would just continue to work in us, that you would continue to rearrange our furniture, that you would continue, Father, to put us in right alignment with you in the name of Jesus, that you would continue to order our step and to direct our path. We ask God that you would continue to bring change where change is necessary. We thank you, Father, for reprioritizing our lives in the name of Jesus, because some of us, Lord, Lord, uh, had our lives out of order, but Lord, now we embrace your plan. We embrace your will. We embrace your order. We embrace your purpose, Lord God, uh, because we want your divine will for our lives in the name of Jesus, uh, because we understand, God, that there is safety in the divine will of the master, and we give your name the glory and the honor, and we ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would remember the loss, that you would remember the backsliding, the backslidden, Father, in Jesus' name, uh, even those, God, that you have turned over to a reprobate mind. We ask for mercy in the name of Jesus. We pray for those whose conscience has been seared and they think that they're doing right and they're really doing wrong. We pray for them, 
Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the whole list, God, that you have assigned to our lives. And we ask, Father, that you would remember them one by one in Jesus' name. Be glorified in the land of the living. And we won't rob you of your glory, but we'll ever give your name honor and praise. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. And even in the midst of the fast, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would help us to control our feelings, Lord, in the name of Jesus and to be slow to speak and to be quick to hear. I'm with you on that one. Hallelujah. Because it's a hard thing. The Bible says that the tongue is a deadly poison. Who can tame it? But Father, with you, all things are possible. And so, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would help us to study to be quiet. But Father, even more than studying to be quiet, we ask God that you would give us the strength to be to speak when we need to speak, to be bold and to have the courage, God, to say what needs to be said. Father, to pick and to choose our battles and to hold our peace, Lord God, when you command us to hold our peace. Because when it's all said and done, Lord, we want to be pleasing in your sight. You told us according to your word to be slow to speak and swift to hear, to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And so, Father, we thank you for helping us to do just that. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And I ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would remember Courtney, that you would remember Brooke, that you would remember their family, Lord. I know nothing but, Lord, you know you know where she is. You know exactly what they have need of. I pray, God, that you would mend their wounds, that you would heal their hearts. I pray, God, for reconciliation, even in the family. I pray for new things, Lord. I pray for new dreams, new desires, new hopes, new plans, new ambitions. I declare that old things have passed away and all things are become new. I pray for a new beginning, Father. In Jesus' name, just do it, Lord God. Some things, God, I will not declare, but Father, you know, and so it is those things that I ask, Father, that you would work behind the scenes and that you would just do what needs to be done and that you would do it on their behalf because some things, Lord, if you don't do it, it will never be done. Hallelujah. But we know, God, that our loved ones and our families, God, those are the things that press Those are the things that press on our hearts the most. And because they press on our heart, it makes us so vulnerable. But Father, I plead your blood over those vulnerable places now. In the name of Jesus. And I declare that the enemy will not use those things that are near and dear to our hearts to throw us off course. The devil is a liar. I pray, God, that you would just be our battle axe, that you would be our shield, and that you would be our banner, and that you would keep our families, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you would heal our families, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I declare that the high places would come down in the name of Jesus. I declare that the proud be brought low in the name of Jesus. I declare that the crooked be made straight. And the rough be made smooth. In the name of Jesus. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. Because I know that you are able. Do it in Jesus name. Be glorified. And show forth your power. It's in Jesus name that we pray. Hallelujah. And we call it done by faith. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. You guys have a blessed day. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to magnify him. And to give him praise. Hallelujah. Cover me. Thank you Lord. Cover me in prayer. The Bible says that one could chase a thousand and two can put 10,000 to flight. Hallelujah. Sometimes there's always going to be somebody out front. But the only reason the person out front can make it is because all of the people that's behind them, that's holding them up. Amen. And so I need that. And I thank you for it. Hallelujah. Because one thing about change, change is not always easy. You got to fight for change. Hallelujah. Change becomes because of challenges. 
Hallelujah. And so sometimes those challenges are not easy. Thank you, Lord. But if you want change, you got to fight nonetheless. And so I love you guys. I appreciate your time. And I pray that you are encouraged by this prayer. Until tomorrow, have a wonderful day. Bye.